guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 7 and 8 of Symphony GX. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> See, it's worse because you know when the damn game her gotcha is out and I want to go for it, but I got no fucking gems. Mm-hmm. Like, all I want to know is simple gear. Just ask me this. Every single time, because I went bad shit crazy over Chris. I was like, oh my god, she's so freaking pretty. I want her. Oh my god. And I got her. I'm freaking happy about that shit. But then you put Maria. Then it, then it gets worse. You put Bridal Hibiki and Bridal Hibiki, Bridal Maria together in a gotcha. And I'm just over here like, I want it. I want it, but I can't have it because I have no gems. It, it's like, okay. You're doing exactly what fucking Madoka Magica Magica Bokore did with freaking Goddess Madoka. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go for her. And I ain't get her. So now I have to wait a whole fucking year for this child to come back. I have to save up. Plus, the fact is, I gotta save up again for the freaking Monogatari girls. Imagine you have over a thousand freaking gems. And you're like, no, Deja, I'm gonna go ahead and save because Monogatari girls, right? Monogatari girls. Best girls of the damn series. I'm just saying. But then here comes Goddess Madoka shining down from the grace of heavens and everything. And it's like, hey, you know you want me, right? And I'm like, damn straight, I do want you. Because oh my god, that's a good behind card. And you don't get her. That's what Simple Gear is doing to me. Because like, oh my god, I'm just like, oh, what you gonna do next? Huh? Especially with last, no, well, not last week's episode. The week before last, before I took my little mini break to go on a vacation. Ooh. <laughs> I just can't because I'm like, mm. Mm. I haven't even played the One Wing uh, Angel event because I've been so busy with so many other games that everybody wants to have events all at the same freaking time. My precious Nina. <laughs> See, when you mean train, you mean have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, if we want to talk about Persona for a second, I mean, just such characters in the code would help me to play volleyball. Oh!
Okay. <laughs> Y'all so gay. Oh my god. <laughs> And of course, this fucking bitch comes like, uh, uh. We can't have one up so let it just be a beach fan service moment like, just for them to chill or anything without the fucking bad guys coming. I mean, goddamn. The fuck? <laughs> For one episode. Behind you. See, I don't think that them because I felt like before Carol died, she gave these girls the like orders to make this story and no matter what. There's always that one day. Why not? So, my God. Oh, Brady, oh my God. Oh no, I do have this one. <laughs> She was like, 
the first one who came home, but I was like, <gasps> <laughs> Oh, you so fake. Great. Unfortunately. See, now I'm scared because when I play this game, when I get to possibly this part, I'm going to have to go against her. And she's going to be, like, way uh, over-leveled, and I'm going to be way under- Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, grind for shit. <laughs> Well, not only to her, but yourself in a way, because the fact is you're in your heart, maybe your soul's a little too weak for this, and maybe you shouldn't do this. So then for hers, it has to be about her sister, Serena. Because she was, it's either her or something about herself or her sister. Things that she still regrets. Seriously? <clears throat> oh. 
but what if she can't defeat her this time? Like, honestly, let's be a little smart about this, though. I don't want her to go into that phase again, but, like, if she kind of has to, who knows? It's just her and out. Even Kim and the rest of the girls are talking. I mean, no, because they're going to hear, like, this shit that's going on in a couple minutes or so. So, of course, they're going to be coming out guns blazing and dish. I don't know. I mean, she cannot handle this by herself. We, if we talking about Diana from, <laughs> from One Watch Academia. <laughs> Look at what's her face from the <laughs> dungeon. Like, oh, my God. So, okay. That was the chest, you motherfucker. Don't do it, please don't. See, now I'm wondering, did they release this cut? They probably did, knowing them, because they're trying to get so ahead of this damn game. They probably have a decent, but I'm not going to be able to get it no matter what. Health oh, died. Man, y'all too late. <laughs> Thank you. 
was, which That has to have information on it, doesn't it? You guys still have it? Oh, boy, yeah, you're always hungry. Mushroom juice? Hmm? You're that guy from... Hmm? Hold on, wait! That's your dad! <laughs> um, I was not expecting that. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But out of all the things that he think he would have done is run away. I got a question about that. What the fuck? There, there has to be something. I mean, oh, um. I'm a little shook right now. Um, <laughs> that did not just fucking happen. Mm -mm, no, that did not. Are you fucking serious? I mean, oh god, bruh. No, this is. I I'm already see. Mm -mm, I'm getting feelings towards my baby Kutama. <laughs> Except it's not her dad; it's her mom. Oh my god. Mm-mm. What the fuck? Mm-mm. Are we serious? It, it's interesting that of we we cut into the backstory of the episode like previously that, you know. Oh my, I don't know. I, I'm flabbergasted right now. I don't know how to feel. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, no, out of all the things. That would come in Hibiki's way. Her father comes. Oh god, is she gonna blame herself? Like, honestly, is she going to do her Futaba esque? I don't know. I mean, because like, because of the fact is they're both played by Aoi Yuki and how. <clears throat> I'm gonna go a little to, uh, into spoilers of Persona 5. If you haven't played it, just go ahead and skip this and go to the next episode. With the fact is that, you know, Futaba's mom dies in the game and she relatively blames herself for her mother's death and essentially and so on and so forth until she finds out the truth about her mother and everything. Well, with the things that happened with her father and her family, it, relatively, I mean, yeah, you would want to blame not only your father for that, but for yourself as well. I, I mean, just... I don't know how you would predominantly really take it, especially seeing your father for, like, such a long behind time. And, you know, oh, God, I don't know. Maybe, like, a part of me was thinking that her father was dead or maybe that her father was never truly going to come back. So, I mean, just to have it hit from the left field and have him come out of nowhere and just, like, hey, how you doing? And the biggest thing is that she runs away. And so there's... Still some, like, 
unresolved issues between her and her father that, of course, we're probably going to see in the next episode. And that has to deal with things that we saw not only in past episodes, but um, stuff in season one and everything. But, oh my god, I mean, I, I do hope that in this next episode, they're able to let bygones be bygones and, like, talk it out. But I feel like it's going to have to be a couple of episodes, not just, you know, one freaking episode. But because of the fact is we're at the halfway point of this show, and we're, like, literally going to be so close to the end of this damn series, well, for this season. I don't know. I mean, I don't want the pacing of it to be like, okay, here's the moment, and then it's just done. I want them to kind of really take their time with it because I feel like if, okay, we all know Hebe's is going to be, like, OP as fuck by the end of this season. So maybe it has predominantly something to do with her father, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Because with the same thing of both Carol and F and getting the backstory of their father, that's really what the big message of this, well, as of seven episodes into this season, it's just fathers, really. I don't know, like, not no daddy issues or anything, but just father figures and, like, not really truly having them in your life anymore. And then lashing out something like that because i feel like he, he's gonna lash out something's gonna happen in this next episode but i ain't gonna know okay until i watch it in a minute but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode eight okay episode eight and three two one go Um, but uh, wait, 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 no, she ran away. We all saw that, didn't you? I mean, he, he ran the fuck away from her dad and her girlfriend. I mean, Jesus. You telling me her girlfriend came over to Hibiki, brought her back to her dad. I mean, well, yeah, that's something that a girlfriend or a boyfriend would do, but yeah, I, I mean. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But are you not going to show it? Because if they don't show it, that's going to be fucked up. Like, mm hmm. Please show it, because I swear to God, that's going to be the one thing that's going to piss me off about this damn show. Please freaking show it because mm -mm. I don't like when shows do that I, I really don't and I, so many shows that I've watched have done that in the past and it's so freaking ridiculous like you're expecting that resolved moment between a daughter and a son I mean a daughter and a son a daughter and a father or a mother and a son and then you just don't see it and then you're over here like well you gotta make us think about what in the world happened between them but it's an important moment, so of course, why the? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have nothing else to say right now. Yet, so you run away and you let your family suffer because of it? Exactly. How, how do you think someone can forgive you for that?
See, you know, I gotta respect her that she's not, you know, lashing out at her father. Something that I did. Um, but, yeah. You can see that she really wants to. Like, don't get me wrong. Because, I mean, sometimes when we all feel certain types of ways, then, yeah, we gotta do it, but still. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You already know what I'm gonna say. I really need her. It's not they were girlfriend. I need to lash out on your friends. It's fucked up. But still, I get that. Her father just seems like an ass. Like, I mean, oh god. I, I don't know. I, I got some mixed feelings on him. I like him, but then I don't like him. And I don't like his attitude towards his daughter. I mean, why would you act that way? It just seems like he doesn't want to be a, a father himself. And the fact that he would leave at a certain time when his family needed him the most. That's why she needs to learn to talk to you, right?
Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Lay in bed, get some rest, and talk to your girlfriend. You see, we'll be fighting again. But Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? I mean, the biggest thing is, how in the world could you respect your father after what he did? After what he did? How could anyone, honestly? And then him wanting to come back into our life like that? You can't look at someone the same way after what they've done. Why don't you both just apologize? Oh shit, I'm not. Okay, we don't really have time.
The question is, are they going to get there in time? Because, I mean, let's think about what happened at the beginning of this episode. The fuck is that? Mm -mm. You honestly think that's going to work too? Because you can't go for anything but I love you! The girl's love is strong in these last two episodes because, oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Watch these two cards be in the game, like, what's today? The freaking fourth? In a couple of days, maybe. I got a feeling, because I think the other three gotcha are supposed to end soon. Mm -hmm. Advertisement, merchandise that I'm not going to be able to get. I mean, she's bringing these down like, mm -mm. I mean, I can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's so smart. You know they hired the big kids. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Girlfriend. Girlfriend. I can't. Another girl. But then hold up, they have to dive themselves, right? Be fucking serious. Be serious. Like, ah, mm -mm. So now she's technically controlling Elf's body. So she's there. She's going to know everything. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just don't sit well with me. I have a bad taste in my mouth because of that ending. Like, mm -mm. But as I said, the other two then also need to die as well. I mean... That would make sense. I mean, whatever they're trying to summon, because I was thinking that I was like, okay, well, she dies in the previous episode, she dies in this episode, then the other two have to die in like the next two episodes for whatever Carol has to do to just roll a whole entire fucking world. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And now that she has Elf under her control, like, I can't imagine what she could possibly do with Elf. I'm scared. I, I'm so scared right now. I mean, I'm scared for my baby Alpha. I'm scared for my girl. Like, what the fuck is going to happen? I mean, I, I was, you know, never in my 26 years of life that I should ever really truly be scared of a little girl. And there's a couple of times in animes that, yeah, I've been scared of a little child because you don't know what they're truly capable of. I mean, I know she's really doing this still for her father because at the end of the day, it's still what she wants to do. And they still relatively haven't shown... They, well, again, like the first two episodes they did. But I, I felt like they're going to bring that back. Like, showing the stuff from episode one in another episode. Because it's like how in the second season with Maria and Serena in a way, how in the first episode we did see Serena die and stuff. And then they brought it back later on. And I was like, okay, now it's just... Flipping it back, bringing it all to just let it tie all together in a nice, neat little bow. But I don't know. I mean, I knew, number one, that when Carol died last week, I knew it wasn't the last time. Well, not last week, the week before last. I knew it wasn't the last time that we are going to see her. So I, I kept thinking, well, okay, her disciples or her followers, they're going to be the big bads. No, Carol's still the big bad of this show, of this season. And I mean... This girl honestly takes not only Fine and then the doctor, like, I don't know. I mean, the, the shit that one little girl can do. I'm honest. Like I said, I'm afraid of this chick. I, I, mm, 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 mm. I mean, once again, it, it's just, it's reminding me of the first two seasons where you have someone who gets very close because... I don't think Elf means to uh, predominantly be controlled by her and to be a part of this, but I'm thinking, like, okay, Elf was going to be fine the whole entire time of this season that Elf wasn't going to do something essentially bad, that she was just the the goodness of Carol's heart and stuff. And I, I really don't know. I mean, now that she's back in control of her, like, what is she going to do? She's going to sabotage, and then everybody's going to be looking at, oh, no, 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 this sweet, defenseless little girl, Elf couldn't do anything. And she couldn't hurt a fly. Like, no. And then I'm going to be like, yeah, she just 
trying to hurt somebody. I don't know. I mean, I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. I am scared. I mean, this is like... <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know how to feel right now because of reasons. And, like, don't even get me started on the Hibiki dad situation. And I hope that she can be able to come forward with her dad and be not even an adult, be a teenager and be able to have a really good conversation with her dad without her dad being an asshole and such. Because at the end of the day, that is your father. Whether he's done something good or bad, you still have to respect him. I get that. But I mean, girl, she has like, he, he has the right to feel how she feels because we've all been that way towards our parents, whether it's our father or it's our mother. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to even say it's Miku's fault for like bringing her back and everything, but still, like I don't know. What do you do in that situation with your father, and how do you fix it for the better? And then learning more about freaking Tsubasa and like her knowing that she's never really had a normal family, and then it makes me wonder, like, if they really would go back into like Chris's backstory to see like what her parents were like before everything happened and. My God, I mean, these girls and their family problems, it just, oh God, I wasn't expecting it, but it just, it, it just gets worse for them because they're the type of characters who typically in a show, there's always either that one character or a couple of characters who have tragic backstories and all of them really do in their own different ways. They're all different, but still similar at the same time. And I mean... I would love to see, maybe not really next week, but slowly before, you know, the next show ends and getting into the next season, um, just a time where they can all just talk and bond over it because it's something that they all hold near and dear with each other. But I mean, who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes seven and eight of Simple GX. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys especially on next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes nine and ten. Bye, guys!